This was the beginning of my very first year and I was sitting in a open house uh, meeting with students and this is when we first launched this idea of all students will graduate um, at least taking one IB course and I remember the student standing up and he said well at Cappuccino you can go the easy route or you can choose to challenge yourself and I remember standing up and I said not anymore <laughs> those days are over. <laughs> I believe that IB is preparing you for college. It's a, somewhat like a college level course, which is gonna prepare me when I go to college. Being a first generation student, I don't know what it's like, so this is preparing me for those classes and the rigor of college. By the time they're sophomores, we do have the ability to sort of say, hey, you really should move on in this path and take IB. And kids who didn't, weren't considering it, oftentimes, especially Latino kids will say, Really? Like, no one ever talked to me about this before. If there's, you know, more Latino students inside the classes, that means there's teachers that are there to support them, and teachers that are there that are telling them that they should be able to take it, that they are able to do, and that's something that I see that's really nice. From my perspective with AVID, we made a conscious decision to try and make it a bridge to IB because the, the real implementation of AVID is providing access for students who are underrepresented in four-year colleges. And the classes at our school that will get them ready to succeed in college are IB classes. Since um, freshman year, I've been taking AVID, but unfortunately this year I wasn't able to because of scheduling conflicts. Not having a AVID right now is, is very hard. Since IB tries to incorporate or tries to go beyond just maybe academic, typical ap academic courses like English and history or maybe math, but it also has, we have programs like IB dance and we've had IB music in the, before. We have an IB uh, film class as well. So it creates other ways and access for students to have this kind of uh, maybe, high, I don't know, more academic uh, courses or maybe a higher level course. I think when you have high expectations for kids and the faculty collectively has high expectations for kids, the kids will eventually come to perform. And I think that's what, at the end of the day, that's what starts to close the achievement gap. That the kid, all the kids can do the same work with a little bit of support and help and encouragement. Um, whenever you don't understand anything, the teachers are really supportive. Having classmates and teachers who can support you through um, your struggles is really great. I will goal as a cappuccino school is to involve the Latino parents into the school. All the information that we share with the families, with the Latino community, is in Spanish. And they love that. So because they understand, they feel welcome, and they feel that they can ask in Spanish, and they will understand because it's their language. So I think that is the secret.
What makes it work, I think, is that we all believe that the students can succeed. And, um, and they're not set in these categories that it's either, you know, you're this type of student, so you need to stay in this route. Once upon a time when the counselors would program with the students, they would say, do you want to take an IB class? And over time, the, the question now is, which IB class do you want to take? All students will graduate um, from Cappuccino demonstrating the knowledge and the skills necessary for college and career. When we say all, we mean all. All means special ed, all means our English learners, all means our, all of our different subgroups. We basically feel that if students are successful in our IB courses, they're gonna be prepared for college level work. I definitely think there's a lot of diversity in the, in the IB classes. Like it's not all just one race or one group of people. And I think that's a great thing because a lot of people have a different cultural opinions to offer. And I think it provides a richer classroom environment. At first glance, you walk into our school and you see banners. <laughs> you see banners with our school goal. You know, you see banners with our school motto. You see the same thing in their student planner. You see the same thing on our website. You see the same thing in a poster when they walk into a classroom. So if anything, there's a visual reminder of what our school is about. And then probably in every conversation that we have with parents in a large arena or with students in a large arena, we are talking about our expectations, you know, our, our vision for what students uh, will accomplish here. And I think that really has resonated with, with families and, and with students.